朋友们，你们好。Today I'll be reviewing a Wulong tea with a sample kindly provided by Jing. It comes in the usual nice matte gold vacuum sealed resealable packet. The brewing instructions are at the front: one tablespoonful of leaves to each cup. Infuse with near boiling water for three minutes. In contrast to green tea or white tea, the leaves picked for Wulong are mature leaves. Traditionally, they are rolled on bamboo mats so that they are tightly curled and resemble tiny black dragons, Wulong or dark dragon. Tie Guanyin from Anxi is the most famous type of Wulong around the world. When infused, it's distinguished by the golden red rim around the dark brown leaves. Sometimes referred to as blue tea, Wulong is oxidated halfway between green and black tea. Recently in China, very lightly treated Wulong with a green hue and a grassy aroma is preferred. However, with Britain's cold winters, its tradition of black tea drinking, and its love of the strong brew, this traditional Iron Buddha Supreme would suit the palate a lot more over here. Wulong not only reduces cholesterol levels, it's also very relaxing to drink, and can even be euphoric, being so rich in aromatic oils. The tea soup is a lovely golden orange. It has a complex, bold character. Upon entering the mouth, it's immediately astringent and bitter, but this soon melts into the underlying sweetness and the nutty apricot aroma, which occupies the palate for a good minute or two after swallowing. Many ancient stories surround the origins of the name Tie Guan Yin. Which I tend to go into during my public talks on tea culture. If you'd like to try this traditional Iron Buddha Supreme for yourself, please follow the link below. And thank you for joining me for tea.